grandmother. I just asked you. I know, I heard you. I am mulling over your question. Just asking. Yes, but what are you asking? I just asked you how you are. Yes, but are you asking me how I am feeling, if indeed I'm feeling anything at all? Or are you asking after my mental health, physical health, spiritual health, financial health even? All a bit heavy for me, Grandfather. Just asking you how you are, nothing deep, just asking after my grandfather. Ah, I had expected something deeper, but either in front of or behind your question. What with your studies and everything? Of course, if I'm disturbing you by being here. No, it's just my friend Lucy texting me to tell me she's combing her hair. She texted you to tell you that she's combing her hair? And I'm texting her to tell her I'm working on this project. I am your I wasn't asking after the meaning of life. Ah, no, the meaning of life. Now then, that does beg several questions. Is self-realization a coherent idea? What? Is the meaning of life about being true to our original nature? And what indeed is our original nature? Mm. Oh, a bit heavy for me, Grandfather. Well, uh, are the are life and meaning to do with about being true to oneself? Should one live? Uh, according to one's desires and in pursuit of happiness, as advocated by John Stuart Mill. Are you happy, Grandfather? Well, I have been happier, but I was younger then. I have been unhappier, but I was younger then. In fact, whenever I think back, I'm always younger. Well, that's pretty obvious. We get older from the day we're born. Ah, uh, and the day nearer death, too. Not necessarily a bad thing. Isn't one of the key influences on happiness, aspirational, something to look forward to. Someone to love, something to do, something to look forward to. That can be altered, of course. How so? Well, imagine that uh, you're lonely. Someone unfriends you on Facebook. Or more than that, uh, say everyone deleted you, no one tweeted, no one texted. Tweeted. Yes, well, then you'd be lonely. And for someone who's lonely, for someone that they love, might be someone who listens to them, smiles when they smile, laughs when they laugh. And imagine a lonely person in emotional turmoil. If they have something to do, then that takes their mind off their significant other and what they may or may not be thinking of doing that doesn't involve them. And um, as for something to look forward to? Something to look forward to. Well, in the case of a competitive person, that would be more profits, a career change, higher income, sales of a product, perhaps property. For someone else, it could be the production of a play and all the smiling and laughter and clapping of the audience. That all seems pretty straightforward. John, I'll make you a cup of tea. Would you like some? No. You too, Emily? Thank you, my dear. Well now, tea for two or three. I'll go for that. <laughs> Emily? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, long for me, though. Better for digestion, antioxidants, and so on. No biscuits for me, though. No one mentioned biscuits. Yeah, well, they usually go together. That's why people get fat. It's all about reciprocation. You're saying I should wash the teacups? I'm talking about someone to love, and the different types of love. Now, the love that I have for my wife, your grandmother, that is different from the love that I would have for my family, my extended family. That in turn is different from the love I have for my pets, or football club, or even the Labour Party. The Labour Party. Just an example. The point is that love that is not reciprocated is not the love that satisfies the happiness. It's nourishment that it's all about. Love also involves tact and good manners. And that does not involve talking to other people I'm at the same time. Young people today. Young people today. Never had people today, they're not able to communicate at all, despite having all the means of communication possible. Nothing worthwhile is communicated. Just nothing but drivel. Oh, 
I'm putting my shoes on. Oh, I'm picking my nose. What would it be like if your grandmother and I communicated like that? <laughs> oh, I've lost my hearing aid. Oh, I've lost my teeth. Here ah. Right, now, don't eat, eat them all at once. It's all we've got. Good to don't eat them. Then I'll be unhappy. It's nourishment that makes you happy. Well, and there are certain foods as well, of course, especially if they're free. Oh, I've read about this. So called mood foods, such as berries, lemon peel, oranges. Don't forget beer. Also, the brewing companies would have us believe. Guinness gives you wings. No, that's Red Bull. Red Bull increases performance. Whatever that means, I hesitate to ask. Supposed to make you feel more energised and thus increase your overall well-being. Well-being? That's just a hippie term to justify university funding. A lot of young people sitting around, drinking tea, contemplating their navels and rolling their... whatever it is that students roll these days. I shouldn't be surprised that at this very moment there's a study going on relating the rolling technique to sexual performance. Life was simpler. Life was so simple, you knew where you were in the old days. Fresh air was sitting outside in the shed, in, 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 the, in the outside room having a fight. Or, if you're cultured, you had a shed. Oh, the shed. A deck chair. Maybe two. <coughs> Some cans, weight cigarettes, maybe a mattress. That's where I used to take your granddad. Ew, granddad! Too much information! Oh, but that's the secret of a long married life. Make sure that she only knows you and you're the first. That's I'm telling the old truth out of context. Truth out of context? Have you been fibbing to her? Your grandmother and I have been married for 40 years and have never once contemplated divorce. Wow. Murder, yes. Divorce, no. So, what is the secret to your long-term... to your, your long-term relationship? Well, as I say, it, it, it's a question of uh, telling the truth. Or if you do have to lie, then just put the truth out of context. What does that mean? Well, the other day, your grandmother asked me, did she look 60? And? I said she didn't. So how's that truth out of context? Well, she didn't. I mean, maybe she had done several years earlier. <laughs> Do you ever tell any lies at all? <coughs> Someone asked me about my age, and I said that I was as old as your grandmother. And then I lied about her age. So you do tell the occasional untruth, then? But only in... A case like that where it's not important. Now, in that particular example, the questioner wanted to know the difference in age between your grandmother and me, not my age as such. Oh, I will miss her when she's gone. When <laughs> she's gone, the way you live, Grandma, she'll outlive you by decades. One of the greatest fears among old people, well, people generally, is loneliness. Like, you may think that in your virtual world you have lots of friends, but have you really? I must get likes on my Facebook. Yes, and I dare say that you get panked and poked. You see, I know the lingo, but I think it's important to have uh, something to do. And if you're lonely, then you haven't got someone to do it for. Um, what about something to look forward to? 
Mum? You're allowed too good. You're allowed too good. Well, the thing is to be happy with what you've got. Remember what Lao Tzu said. If you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're at peace, you're living in the present. Ah, I can counter that. Without the fans, we would be nothing. The girls are amazing. Harry Styles, One Direction. Well, why all these questions anyway? Grandpa, do you mind if I involve you in my project at school? Yes, you'll be asking me to do something and I'm not used to that. No, no, you don't have to do anything, J just respond to what I do. Well, that is doing something. Look, just leave things to me and then respond, is that a deal? No. Well, if you're too busy... I'm not. Well, I am busy, yes, I am busy. Doing nothing. But I'm busy. But will you do? If it doesn't involve getting out. Well, if it does. Oh, I've been saying it's you for my genes. Thank you, Grandad, you're amazing. Anyway, it's time now for my nap. The doctor said that I needed to relax and rest. Something to do with blood pressure. You may have heard the saying that aging is all in the mind. Yeah. Well, the trick is to stop it creeping down into the body. Standing up, you would get me to sit down. That's just so that I'd be doing something instead of nothing. No, no. It's not a case of getting you to do something as in anything. It's about getting you to do something specific. See, I've been reading all about it. Sitting kills, moving heals. Not if you move in front of a bus, it doesn't. Sitting down is a risk factor for early death. Well, it seems to have passed me by. Maybe I should sit down some more. Listen, standing up counteracts the negative effects of sitting down for too long. It's all about a change of posture. When you're inactive... My brain is active. I'm talking about your body. Lipoprotein lipase is dramatically increased with activity and transports back to the muscles to be used as fuel. But would you just stand up? You said you'd help me with my project. Well, you didn't say you would, but you said you'd try to... Just stand up, please! Oh, yes. I invited some people to come talk to you about health and nutrition. Oh, well, how long do I need to stand for? Oh, you can sit down now. It's just a case of standing up every few minutes or so. <laughs> Grandfather, remember you said you'd help with my project? Yeah. Well, here are Jane, Georgina, and Stephanie. Hello! They've come to talk to you about health and nutrition and so on. I don't need someone to talk to me about nutrition. Oh, unless, of course, they brought me food. <laughs> Well, Emily asked us to come talk to you to make sure you're eating healthily, etc. Yes, you know, low fat, high fat, high saturated fat, there we go. Never been proved. And anyway, most fats aren't from uh, food, the body makes it. Saturated fat is bad. Good avocado, coconuts, cholesterol. Shh, never been proved. 
The key is inflammation. You need cholesterol. Depends on the type. Body type, body weight. HDL. LDL. VLDL. Which is? Cholesterol is bad or oh, good. But really? It is neither. The key is ratios. And to make glycerides and lipid proteins. Ratios, as I said. HDL cholesterol. Try glyceride cholesterols. Ah. Small dense LDL particles squeeze through the lining of the arteries, and if they oxidize, causing damage and inflammation. Inflammation, the key. CRP test! Crap. C reactive protein. Statins. No! Well, probably not. Memory loss. Dizziness. Impaired immunity system. Depression. Cancer. Maybe. Vitamin D is the key. D12. Oh, with vitamin K. Magnesium. Uh, CQ10 supplements. Krill oil. Beef ginger. And fish oil. I can't diet. Ratio. Is it not low carb? Maybe. Maybe high fat, high protein. Maybe. Probably not. People are different. Nutritional typing. What are you doing? Standing up. Why? Oh, I'm a guinea pig. This is an experiment. Metabolic typing. Western fried. Nutritional typing. Paleo diet. Vegan. Eat with a conscience. Raw food. Fermented food. Food blank. Raw milk. High fat milk. No milk. Drink tea. Not coffee. Not coffee with milk. Cap and gales. Red long with life. Helps memory. Decaf. High calf. With sugar. Sugar? Damn. Green tea? Chinese white tea. Oolong tea. I apply common sense. So if I see red meat, I don't immediately panic and say, oh, I can't eat that. I, I know the science is imprecise. I think about what I know about meat, and I conclude that it's blue-green meat. You have dangerous. to treat this seriously. Treat what seriously? It's all so confusing. I can't be doing with something for my diet that's going to give me better health in 20 years' time. Well, at least answer the questions from my project. Is someone else you've invited? You did agree. God, she's getting tired. Grandfather, this is the room. The name means one who helps. <laughs> this could be interesting. I have come here to help you be open. To spread yourself and receive argon from us all. To be at one. Well, but you think I'm not at one? Well, Emily, your granddaughter, is concerned about your outlook. She says you're unfit. And this will have an impact on you as you get old. I'm already old. As long as I don't run for a bus, I'm not going to pull any muscles. Why do I need to be fit? I bet you wish you were young again, Granddad. Mm -hmm. I did it all in the 60s. Well, turn on, tune in and drop out. No, I tune in, turn over and drop off. You mustn't let Adrian get you down. Oh, I know that. I don't let it get me down. I'd never get back up again. Well, the years have been kind to you. It's the weekends that did the damage. Mr. Wainwright! Joe. You must balance yourself with the universe, with all the trees, the plants, the animals. Bacteria? Synchronize yourself with everything. Vibrational medicine, heavenly yin and yang. Be mindful, and then there's mindfulness. Rebranded meditation. TM is terribly mundane. You have to take this seriously. We're trying to help you. Reality shifting, ascension, calling of angels, coming, transposition of souls, vortex healing, Indian therapies, 
homeopathic remedies, the use of chi on crystals. Your chi is all out of In time, the rippling will be expelled through open chakras. Alien reincarnation, Arthuria societal, muscle memory, bone reincarnation, astral and multidimensional travelling. Enough, Galuk, enough! I do not want to hug an alien, I do not want to hug a tree, I do not wish to be at one with the meat that I eat, I do not wish to join in the wailing of fish, I do not want any of this gamook, thank you, no, please leave. Oh, why not just let me take your hand and channel my ancestors' love? They grew up on an Indian settlement. I am um, some herbal remedies for medicinal purposes only. I am not ill. But you've been aging since you were born. And now it's accelerating. This might help ease the pain. No, no, no! Trinity of denial, symbolic of inner turmoil. Let me fill your box. No, 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 enough. Please help me by leaving. I'll see you out. I'm really sorry, Grandfather. Oh, I'm not annoyed with you. And as Gamuk would say, annoyance is a circle that leads ever inward in a spiral until such time as you disappear of your own... You're a thinker, aren't you, Grandfather? Yes. Insofar as I have an opinion, it is positive. I think it's important to keep working. I hope that I never retire completely. I'd be no good at uh, crossword puzzles, doing nothing. Okay, so work ethic. I like to be in charge, I like to run things. Such as? Washing machine, dishwasher. The vacuum cleaner. Oh, you can scoff. But being in charge is important for self-esteem. It's also important to have an interest. What is your interest? Well, seeing that you're asking, me. Well, now that I'm older, other people don't seem as interesting. Family members accepted, of course. I don't somehow feel I've been much help with your project. Well, it's supposed to be about transformation. Yes, but transformation is not necessarily what older people want. It's a return to their youth. I mean, if you're trying genuinely to research things that older people are interested in, then, then don't focus on fitness. I mean, yes, maybe stretches, maybe not. And I do know all about balance and arthritis and flexibility and all that. But if we haven't been exercising, then at our age, we're hardly likely to start now. Anyway, Getting up in the morning, going to the shops, going upstairs, that's exercise, we just don't call it such. If you want something to research, make it death. Death? What? How to die? When to die? Why die? Where to die? No, no, no. The, the circumstances and the administration. How to choose a burial plot and uh, organise the coffin. Maybe get sponsorship on the side of a coffin. Saga holidays, discount for wheelchairs. 
I don't know, but I mean, when I'm dead, I'm not going to be worried what goes on the side, on the side of my coffin. Think of the extra income it'll bring. Firelighters could sponsor cremation. That's sick. Grandma. Yes, maybe, but you get the point. I'm, I mean, death is something that we think about and maybe worry about, and I've spent a lifetime preparing for it. But I'm talking about the mess we might leave behind. Inheritance, tax, unanswered post, just about anything, really. Texting. Texting? What, after you're dead? Dying on Twitter, a Twitter feed from the government? What are you talking about? You remember earlier I was talking about reciprocation, nourishment, the need to feel involved, the need to feel that one is being communicated with them. Well, that's the problem. You've left us behind. We don't know all about these things in your world now. Fishing, photo bombing, who deleted me, and, and all the rest of it. Liking and all that sort of thing. Teach us. Train us. And that will keep us active. It will help us to live long and healthy lives. I mean, when I was young, we ate together, sometimes prayed together, but we always stayed together. But now you live in two worlds, there's this world and this virtual world, and in, in the other world, we don't know what it is you're doing. Help us catch up those that we love, the, where we've been left behind. So... Not fitness exercise, not nutrition, not, not body transformation. Well, I'm not saying no to body, but the mind as well. Mental. Sudoku for the elderly. PlayStation for the elderly. At least that would keep away the, the need to watch porn to get our heartbeat up. Phrases now, though. I don't know who I'd go to actually, because the skin on the elderly is not as tough as that on the young. But no one seems to cater for us. Now, maybe I want to have Jane on my knuckles. But that's not grandmother's name. Well, we did say earlier that I was f her first love, but no one said she was mine. Maybe I want my own fashion. Where are the fashion labels for the elderly? Wrinkle wear, that has a nice ring to it. Where are the gurus telling me how to wear my trousers with turn-ups? Not there. Because no one thinks we can be fashionable. No one thinks we could possibly have any interest in fashion. Now you, you get dolled up for parties, you transform yourselves. Well, maybe I want to wear something new, something different from an old suit. But you never come anywhere. Well, maybe because that's where there's nowhere to go, nowhere safe. And then there is sex. Granddad. Whoa! Viagra, transform the older generation. I forget about your Mura Palmer and your Himbe and Maka Maka and all your herbal pick me ups. It was Viagra that, that was, was the Heineken that reached parts we thought we hadn't had.
and a, a drug like Viagra. So, men will lose power and control in their relationships? Then they will be frightened. Some will be anxious. That will lead to performance problems. That will lead to sales of Viagra being boosted. It's all perception. The point is, we don't need to be told common sense things. Eat, move, and be healthy. I mean, we know how to avoid uh, getting fat. Eat less. Full stop. Nothing more to it. There's this great industry now with uh, advice being offered and then the advice changes. I mean, in the 1950s, we weren't unhappy and we weren't fat. Well, except for some English families where an older child might have taken on some American characteristics. But the important thing is that we knew how to be happy. That's the important thing. Know how to be happy. Be satisfied with... Well, I mean, it's not just a question of pencil between the lips and positive approbations every day. Be happy with what you've got, be happy with what you've done, and with the achievability of what you intend to do. So, no programs, no schedules, no taking for a step on a journey of a thousand miles. A thousand miles? Oh, oh, oh. I'd be lucky if I can go one mile. It's all small battles. It's fighting my teeth, back bearable, but still able to smile. Being at home, safe, warm, and with friends. So, no therapy then? Well, maybe bibliotherapy. Let Messrs. Shakespeare and Wordsworth boost the brain. Using books or, or reading books to overcome mental ailments? Yes, and of course you can have discussions of the books that have been read. That means uh, forming a self-help group of your like. Anyway, I have taken some of your advice. Really? Oh yes, put that in your project. Do you know someone called Annabelle Wigley? Yeah, she's in my psychology class at school. Well, she's doing a project very much the same as the one you're doing. And her grandmother, in fact, rang me about it earlier this morning. That would have been when you were not yet up, around 11.30. No. Yes. And it seems that a number of grandparents have been subjected to this why can't we transform you rigmarole. So we have decided to form a stress relief self-help group which will protect us from inane youngins who want to change us when what we need is acceptance and involvement. In fact, we're meeting at the village hall this very day. I just need to check my keys. You know Grandmother and I are out all afternoon. Oh yes. Hence the importance of checking the keys. So that when I throw them into the circle, whichever adventurous young grandmother should pick them up needs to know where to come. Oh, that's Grandmother Wiggly now. She's always getting the time wrong. Thank <laughs> you.